flanked by representatives of Project Cure, the Ministry of Health, School Children, Special Envoy for Women and Children, Kim Simples Barrow, today broke ground for a new children's intensive care unit at the Carl Houston Memorial Hospital. The institution's chief executive officer, Dr. Gary Longsworth, says the unit has been 15 years in the making. The need for a pediatric intensive care unit at this hospital is one that has been recognized since the inception of the KHMH, when at that time our neonatal intensive care unit was established, and that's over 15 years ago now. So we've had a neonatal intensive care, but no pediatric intensive care for all this time. Mrs. Barrow was apprised of this need during a visit to the KHMH in 2009, coincidentally when she was here to accept another donation from Project Cure. She immediately took it on as her organization's next major project, and what was originally envisioned as a refurbishing exercise has grown into a full-scale project for a new wing dedicated to the intensive care of both newborns and children. Through the efforts of the parties involved, the project has already collected approximately $1,200,000 worth of medical supplies and equipment. Those were handed over today during brief ceremonies. Through the fundraising efforts of Mrs. Barrow, an additional $20,000 has been secured for the project. This new building will house both a pediatric intensive care unit and a neonatal intensive care unit, thereby caring for the nation's critically ill children with proper staffing and equipment. This, of course, will no doubt assist in reducing the country's under five mortality rate. During the ceremony this morning, doctors and nurses at the KHMH received footwear courtesy Croc Cares, the philanthropic arm of Crocs. Children currently admitted in the hospital and students who attended this morning's ceremony also received Crocs shoes and hygiene kits donated by Project Cure. The Project Cure team is led by Douglas Jackson, President and CEO. Winston Churchill said we, get, we make a living by what we get, we leave a legacy by what we give. And that's what we're doing today is we're creating a legacy. For a lot of years, this intensive care unit, this pediatrics intensive care unit, the children's intensive care unit is going to stand as a legacy to what we did here today. And there will be a lot of little kids that come and go out of here that Maybe you wouldn't have had a second chance, but today they do because of what we're about, and that's the legacy. And there will be a day when they are standing in our position talking about the legacy that we left and deciding to leave a legacy of their own. Also joining in the project is Alan Gobi of the Challenge Gobi Foundation, which has pledged $1 million towards the Children's Intensive Care Unit. The ICU will have a child-friendly design and work on the architectural drawing is ongoing and the invitation of tender bids for the construction of the facility will be announced shortly. The hope is to start work on the structure by the end of the year. Dalilaikal for Love News.